Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Wednesday's morning, the 14th of August, 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signals, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, the uh, market commentary, let's try and uh, decipher exactly what's going on here as usual. Uh, European markets certainly up this morning. Uh, you FTSE higher, German DAX, uh, the French CAC, certainly uh, initial weakness, but then have uh, certainly recovered, subsequently recovered thereafter. Asian markets overnight, we had the uh, Nikkei down 0.7%, the uh, Hang Seng 0.1%, and the Shanghai down 0.7%. So certainly feeling the pain there, uh, given the fact that US markets certainly were very, very weak overnight and certainly under uh, immense pressure. Uh, now, the news flow this morning, let's just quickly uh, recap here. Uh, in terms of the um, the actual uh, GDP from um, New Zealand, certainly on the weaker side and therefore in indicating potential further rate cuts ahead. Okay, so again, exerting in, uh, immense pressure on the Kiwi overnight. Uh, Westpac uh, consumer confidence data coming in at 0.3%. Japanese industrial production coming in weaker again, although there has been talk with regards to USDJPY of uh, potentially going into deeper territory in terms of cutting rates. So again, that's something certainly to watch out for. We've had weaker inflation data again from uh, the Eurozone economy, such as France. So again, exerting uh, pressure there. CPI data in Italy as well on the weaker side. So again, indicating potentially more further QE. Uh, again, which should support European equities. Uh, in terms of the UK, we've had the average earnings certainly coming in stronger than expected, and uh, the unemployment level certainly uh, remained stellar uh, in terms of uh, a level of 4.9%, and the claimant count as well. So overall, uh, UK uh, jobs uh, data uh, certainly stronger, and wage growth certainly uh, remains. Okay, So again, certainly supporting the uh, UK uh, economy. Industrial uh, de production data out of the Eurozone certainly came in on the weaker side, folks. So again, indicating weakness and therefore one, one would argue uh, the need for further QE. Uh, so certainly take that on board. Uh, TDW survey for out of uh, Swiss, CHF certainly supported the uh, growth story. So again, certainly an argument there for the markets to move higher. Okay, now uh, what are we looking forward to? We're looking forward to US import prices, export price uh, data. That certainly is going to be important and market moving as well. So keep an eye on that, folks. Uh, that certainly is going to be ahead. So again, that certainly is one aspect of uh, looking at the markets in terms of the US dollar. Now, the US dollar at the moment uh, is currently uh, into resistance, uh, although having said that, you need to be very careful in which currency you're going to be trading. Okay, so if I look, bring up the daily chart, you can see that you have a potential bear flag for our chart. You're into that 200 MA, previous support equals resistance. Okay, so 60 minute chart. Obviously, you're into that gap fill zone, okay? So you are looking at resistance in this region. So again, keep an eye out for the dollar index potentially. If we do get weaker data out of uh, the US, so export in price, import price data is on the weaker side. Uh, although you do have crude stocks at uh, 330, so again, keep an eye on that. Again, market moving. Uh, so uh, again, crude oil stocks. Uh, we do have uh, further data out from New Zealand uh, overnight as well. So we've had the current account. Uh, data certainly coming on the weaker side, okay. So uh, we are expecting GDP uh, certainly to come out on business uh, data as well to be coming out on the weaker side as well. So certainly keep an eye out for that, okay. Uh, in terms of uh, the technical picture then, let's just go over that for now. Okay, so let's look at the technical picture now in terms of uh, European equities. The German DAX, we're certainly holding this uh, zone here, okay. On the 10 minute chart, we're certainly oscillating between this support and resistance. And bear in mind, you have had weaker industrial production data as well. So again, exerting potential pressure on the downside, okay, in terms of the uh, German DAX. So 60-minute chart, again, you're building a potential base. Uh, daily chart, argument one could argue that you are looking for potentially targeting up here for 10,574. So certainly bear that in mind, okay, in terms of uh, the next potential movement on the German DAX. Now, looking at the French CAC, to bring up the French CAC, again, I'm potentially holding the base uh, on the 10 minute chart, let me just clean this up for you. Okay, so you certainly will be potentially looking to target and make a move higher for gap fill. Okay, for now, we've certainly uh, potential double bottom scenario here. Okay, although on the 60 minute chart, one would argue that there are further gaps to fill. You have a gap to fill at 4340, and then obviously you have a gap to fill at 4320. So just certainly keep an eye on that. Okay, uh, we've had a move in the FTSE, but no movement in the uh, the actual um, 
the Nasdaq as such. So again, that certainly is a cause for concern. So keep an eye on that, folks, and, and let's just see how that transpires and the next potential move there as well. Okay. Righty then, in terms of the FTSE 100, let's just bring up the chart, the FTSE for you, going to the daily chart, first and foremost of the FTSE, you do have this potential H&S formation. Again, will the H&S formation play out with some strong employment data? Uh, obviously, uh, we've had weaker inflation data recently. Uh, again, we have QE as well. Okay, so one can't get too bearish either. Okay, also given the fact that uh, we've had stronger Chinese data this week, and uh, not to mention that the US dollar obviously is into resistance as well. There's a lot of factors that really are preventing this H&S formation to play out on the FTSE, so bear that in mind. We do have resistance at 6.720, so again, looks as if we are potentially going to target that zone. If we do start to move higher, then the double bottom certainly is confirmed. So any trade that I take, stop loss below that double bottom, so I'm looking for a move higher. Okay, that's my interpretation thus far. Okay, in terms of the daily chart, like I said, you, you have the H&S formation, but given the, uh, the actual uh, FTSE's uh, inherent strength and QE, uh, certainly uh, be careful with regards to that uh, pattern playing out okay for now it's all about double bottom at 6660 zone and that's what I'll be working off in terms of the euro stocks let's just quickly go over to the euro stocks I did have a long position in the euro stocks I have closed it now because the euro stock certainly remains weak this morning okay again it looks like it wants that gap at uh, 2960 markets certainly haven't moved higher along with the FTSE so again that's a cause for concern okay as a trader so bear that in mind let's go to the uh, daily chart of the uh, euro stocks again it looks like every it certainly wants to close the gap first before it starts to move higher so again that's certainly something to consider okay folks bear that in mind righty then in terms of um, the uh, actual price of oil let's just bring up the price of oil given the fact that we have uh, oil data out today so again it's all about 44.5 watch out for 44.5 support and uh, obviously uh, the fundamentals certainly need to back that up as well so again that's certainly some uh, something to consider in terms of the uh, the actual uh, european indices okay so again oil prices certainly need to move higher in order to sustain this rally again you had shanghai lower overnight so again exerting immense pressure the s p 500 certainly is attempting to build a base at 2120 uh, again, um, given the fact that uh, Asian markets were lower overnight, just be cautious, okay? Given the fact that we do have the weekly chart support, so it's all about the weekly chart support, folks. So looking at the weekly chart, you clearly see that you had two previous resistance uh, equal support. So we are looking to potentially bounce in this zone. So more than happy to go along at 2120, okay? Providing the fundamentals obviously align. You do have this key diagonal trend uh, align that's coming into support. So again, 2120, 2100. Again, solid, solid support level. Okay, I think that's the summation for now. Again, from my perspective, the bullish uh, argument is, is strongest on the FTSE, and that's the index that I potentially will be looking to uh, go along on, given the stronger employment data. On that note, wish you uh, well for the rest of the trading session. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Goodbye.